I've always wanted a dog, so I've had dogs when I was a kid, things like that. But um, yeah, this time around I thought instead of just buying a dog and having to commit for you know 10 years or whatever, um, we can have a one year commitment and do something with you know a sort of special dog. Um, so yeah, I decided to sort of get involved with the puppy raising program. They're really good before you get started. Um, so everyone at the guide dogs will sort of um, explain to you exactly what's expected and that it is quite a big job. Um, but, you know, I was sort of, I was ready for a bit of commitment in my life and it sounded like something I could do. It's not like, yeah, here's, here's a puppy and we'll see you in 12 months. Like, you know that there's gonna be a lot of work. Um, but nothing can really prepare you for just how much work it is. It is there is a lot of effort that goes into it, but it's all rewarding as well. I just explained, I said, look, this is something I want to do. Um, you know, it's, it's, not, it's nothing to do with work. It's sort of, it's a life thing that I want to do for myself, um, but it's gonna, it's gonna affect work, obviously, so. Um, but yeah, they were fully supportive of it. And yeah, I explained the whole, that what it actually means to have a, a guide dog puppy in the office and what my commitments would be. Um, but yeah, they, they were fully supportive of it. Just sort of educating them before the puppy arrives that you, know, you can't just, it's not, it's not a pet basically. Um, so once I understand that, you just sort of explain how important it is to do certain things with the puppy. Um, they, they understand and you know everyone followed the rules and worked really well. When you've got the puppy at home that's where it's a lot more fun. Um, like it's still great to have her at work but um, she'll sort of she gets taught to stay under the desk and be quiet and stuff but when you get home that's where you can sort of have all the fun. It's special with a guide dog puppy because you can't just go for a walk and, and let them, you know, play and sniff and everything. There's, there's a lot of structure around what they can do. Um, and it's actually quite enjoyable adhering to this structure and watching that the dog sort of develop and, you know, get better and get closer to being a guide dog. I thought it would affect me a lot. Like I sort of told my friends when I started doing it that you're probably not going to see me that much, but in reality, it just, it didn't change anything. So, you know, still go have coffees and go to the pub and everything. And then um, once they sort of get to that age where they're allowed to start visiting those places, um, yeah, I take her out to cafes and things like that. And she joins me and my friends and yeah, and everyone loves her. So she's part of the, <laughs> part of the group now. The only thing that you need to pay for is a bed and toys. Toys, obviously, because they go through a lot of toys. <laughs> Um, but all the food and all the vet bills and everything is taken care of by them, so yeah, it doesn't cost you anything at all, which is a really good way to get a dog. As long as they've got somewhere to sort of toilet um, outdoors or, you know, if they've got um, one of those sort of fake grass trays, that's generally enough. And it, the main thing is that they get exercise and socialisation, but nothing sort of beats getting them down to the park. And uh, we're lucky here because we live really close to a big dog park, so we go there every day. So she's a bit of a celebrity down there, but um, that's where she gets all her energy out. That's the only question people will always ask you, is how are you gonna give it back? And you sort of just say, well, that's, that's the job, that's why I'm doing it, is because she does go back and then she's gonna go on to be a special pup for someone else. I think I can't not have a puppy in my life now. Um, I consider getting like a forever dog, but it's still, it's a big commitment. And now that I've sort of had this like special pup that's, you know, got this really important job to do, like I don't think I can just go back to having a normal dog. So I might end up as a serial puppy raiser, which, you know, it's not a bad thing to be.